Hello again, UMES, and welcome back to another episode of Discover UMES. This week, we are celebrating the groundbreaking of the new Engineering Aviation Science Building. Uh, today, I have the opportunity to talk with Dr. Nuwaba, the man behind the scenes of the over 160,000 square foot new engineering building. I'm Amber Green, and you're watching Discover UMES. for talking with us and letting us know about this great project that you are a part of. Nice to have um, someone who achieved so much on this campus. And for you, what did it take to achieve in those areas professionally and academically? Um, what it takes is actually a commitment uh, to the purpose of the organization that you are part of. Um, when I joined UMES um, two, three years ago, I, I was one of the early planners uh, that was hired to help in developing the campus master plan at that time. So what is taken is that drive to uh, do more uh, for an organization that you believe in. And in this case, I believe thoroughly in the progress of HBCUs, especially uh, UMES. Mm -hmm. I'm a product of a HBCU myself. I'm a graduate of Tuskegee University, where I got uh, two bachelor degrees in architecture. Mm -hmm. And I did a master's in technology management. So what has happened over these years is uh, this drive to try to get better in what you do so that you can serve your organization much better. Mm -hmm. Could you share anything about the new engineering and aviation science building? Absolutely. Uh, the engineering and aviation science building has been a very important project for UMES. This project, uh, we had it in the master plan some almost 20 years ago. So this building is very important. Uh, it's very important for the current president, uh, Dr. Bell, and the former president, uh, President Thompson, whom we also worked very closely for more than nine years mm -hmm. uh, towards getting this project done. Uh, so this project is a very large project. It's almost uh, 160,000 square feet of space. Mm -hmm. uh, it will cost about $9.1 million, which is the most expensive building uh, I believe we've built on this campus. This building, not only that, this building is also very important because it has some classroom spaces, especially for the core courses that students take in mathematics. Just mm -hmm. about every student on campus mm -hmm. takes a course in mathematics. And this building also has the graduate and undergraduate programs in computer science. So they will be in this building. Not only that, for you in journalism, mm -hmm. this building actually pertains to be one core building that provides you the resources that you need in English technology mm -hmm. and journalism itself. Even though we cannot offer journalism at this time, but however, it gives you the core courses because we have theaters, we have editing rooms, both video and audio, editing rooms. Uh, we have, uh, of course, the Hawk Radio, uh, where students uh, will have a hands-on uh, training on, on how to be radio broadcasters. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is an uh, essential building. And in addition, it will house the graduate students, uh, dean of graduate students, and the dean of uh, business and technology management. So all these people will have a home in this new building. It's a building of many surprises. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. It took a long time. What can students expect to see once the new, once the new building is holding classes? Are there going to be any special technology or? high-tech, or what can students expect to see? Um, we are very hopeful and we are very excited because actually we have done, we've taken some time to do a very, very insightful planning process. Mm -hmm. the, the students uh, will actually use and get and appreciate modern day technology in all the classrooms. So, I mean, all the classroom students will be able to plug on to the internet, they can plug on to the, uh, I mean, they can receive classes from anywhere in the world in any class that they're in. So this is not just one classroom that has the capacity for interactive video network. No, this, this whole entire facility uh, will achieve that. Would you like to leave any wisdom for our students or for our viewers that will basically help motivate them to achieve their own goals? Do your very best in whatever you do. Uh, especially when you're doing a good thing, you should aspire to be the very best that you can be in it. I believe that any student uh, that comes to UABS is coming here to be equipped to be a great citizen. Uh, to contribute back to his community or her community. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are all on a journey to do better things. Uh, and we can only do that if we're humble enough and if we uh, constantly learn. I mean, there's no end to learning. So learning never stops. Uh, learning never stops. Learning so that's, that's, my, that's one of my motives. So I, I, that's what I encourage others to do. And uh, I, I hope to continue that uh, for the rest of my life. Just learn some new stuff and mm -hmm. be relevant in the society. Exactly. That's advice I'm going to take myself. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Um, thank you for taking the time to explain the new project and to let everybody know who you are. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you Ms. Green.